Let's face it, the job market right now, it's tough. It's still more competition than we've seen in such a long time. I mean, just a few years ago, especially in tech, it was, it felt like this gold mine, this gold rush, where if you wanted to get into tech or you wanted to grow your career, have a very high paying salary, you could do it just like that. And now those jobs are still out there. They still exist and they are getting paid, if not the same, higher than ever. It's true, but there's a catch. Now the competition is intense. And the reasoning for that is because we've seen so many big tech layoffs, even from startups as well, over the past few years. It brings up the question, you are qualified, you've done the work, you've put in the time, but how do you stand out against so much competition? I mean, at this time, you hear people say it's purely a numbers game. But the reality is there still is a few ways that you can stand out. And one is through the certifications or courses we are going to be talking about today. I think this is a really cool way to add an Ivy League school to your resume. Now let's be clear, no one is saying that this is the same as going to an Ivy League school or anything like that, but it is a great way to take a course from one that you can then add to your resume to help you stand out. All right. Let's just jump into what these certifications are. Oh wait, no, like what was that, Muggs? Subscribe to Tiff and Tech. Muggs is saying, before we do that, you gotta hit the subscribe button and leave in the comments any other topics you want me to cover. Actually, on that note, I'm going to leave a poll, a little voting uh, comment in the comments, a little pinned comment in the comments where you can leave what topic or what video you want me to cover next. All right, now let's get into it. Coming in at number one, I mean, we had to include this on a list. We had to include the first one on this list, even though it's mo the most popular by far. Can you guess what it is? It's Harvard University CS50, Intro to Computer Science. Now, this still needed to make it on the list. We're gonna get into some that you've probably never heard of before, but we needed to include it because they keep on updating it and it is so good. Whether you are looking to become a software engineer, a data scientist, or maybe even something on the soft skill side, having the fundamentals of computer science is such a great way to really take your career to the next level by understanding the foundation, what's going on. And we had to start with Harvard, just like we probably will end with Harvard as well. Now, of course, this is a great course for anyone who is looking to really solidify their fundamentals with computer science when it comes to algorithms and even different technical concepts. Coming in at number two is Columbia University, specifically a machine learning course. So this course will really take you from the ground up. It starts with teaching the fundamentals, really defining what these fundamentals even are in the world of machine learning. It will also dive into things such as unsupervised and supervised learning. This course is perfect or certification is perfect, I would say, if you are someone who is either starting your career even further along, but wants to get involved in the world of AI and in particular machine learning. This is a free course, which is an extra bonus if you ask me. And I mean, having Columbia University on your resume is pretty cool. Oh, by the way, I'm going to add all the links to these courses down in the caption. All right, number three is coming in from the University of Pennsylvania. Now this is another great course, more so for the web developer side of things, and it is called Programming for the Web with JavaScript. I mean, JavaScript is, not going anywhere. So many incredible, massive sites are built with it and it's continuing to grow in demand. I, I mean, you've probably seen on my channel, we do a lot of Python now because it's really fun to tinker with and build different things with, but JavaScript is here to stay. And having a strong understanding of it, regardless of what industry or what role I should say you are in, it's such a fun language. And even if you aren't a technical person, having a strong understanding of a programming language, even just one, will really help you stand out in your role and I think make you a better leader. So this course really focuses on JavaScript, modern web development, and also DOM manipulation. And once again, this is a free course on edX if you audit it. Always audit these courses. Next up is Yale University. This is pretty cool. This is more so on the FinTech side. I feel like FinTech is one of those areas in tech that is not, it doesn't really have these hot moments, but it's always there. It's always steady. It's not like, blockchain or AI, well, I mean, blockchain kind of with cryptocurrency got into FinTech, but it's just steady. There's always jobs in this area, but it's not really spoken about as much as it should be. So if you're interested in FinTech, Yale University has a really great certification for you. Now this is taught by someone who is a world renowned economist. His name is Robert Schiller. So that's pretty cool to even start with as well. From there, it will cover financial markets, insurance and risk management. So you're not only getting the tech side of this, but you also are diving into the world of finance, which I think is pretty cool. I'm very interested in that 
world as well. So it's cool to take a course that you get both the tech and finance side of things. All right, coming in at number five is from Cornell University, and we are going back to blockchain, blockchain basics. I know sometimes on here we skip over blockchain because it seems like it's one of those things that is so tightly associated with cryptocurrency that we kind of go, uh, is it in demand? But if you go on any job posting site right now, there are so many jobs available in the blockchain uh, world. And I think that's because this technology is used for so many different areas from healthcare to finance to really everything you can think of that requires authentication or a certification to be authentic, I should say. And this technology isn't going anywhere. And I think it's really underestimated right now, especially for people looking to get in the industry. So if you want to stand out and get into an area that is hiring for a lot of people, this is it. And Cornell University, that's pretty cool. This course will really start from the basics. So it will cover the basics of blockchain and work its way up. Now, this course, I want to be clear, does have a fee. So you have to be really sure that it is an area you want to focus in on, but you do end up with a certification. Coming in at number six is a course by Brown University, and this is modern web applications or creating modern web applications. This is really cool. So this, I would say, is for someone who is earlier on in their career or if you are looking to pivot more so into a developer role. In this course, they really dive into modern web development practices such as using, or technologies such as using Node, Express, what else do they have, uh, MongoDB, and it's actually free to audit. So here's a little tip. If you will audit some of these courses by going through them and helping improve them or giving feedback, a lot of times you can take them for free, which is pretty cool and something that I don't think a lot of people know about. And this is one of these courses. Coming in at number seven is from Dartmouth College. And this really goes back to the basics when it comes to C programming. So this is really great for beginners. If you are someone, maybe you're already a developer or you're looking to get into the industry, but you wanna get back to low level programming, really understanding the fundamentals. This course is free to audit. And also if you pay a little bit of a fee, you get the certification. But as always, the certification isn't necessary in order to put on your resume. Coming in at number eight is a course that if you are someone who's preparing for interviews, you definitely wanna take this if you are more on the technical developer side. This is a course by Princeton University and it focuses on algorithms. It's called Algorithms Part One and you can continue going with this series. I love it because it's on Coursera. Coursera has so many great courses, some that are free, some that you have to pay for, but this one as well, if you audit, it will be free. So it's another great hack. And I think if you actually take the time to audit a course, you in turn are actually getting more out of it because you're paying attention to it more, you're giving feedback. So it's kind of a win-win, you gotta take it for free, but you also are reinforcing what you are learning. So this course really focuses, of course, on algorithms, algorithm and data structures. And it's great if you want an alternative to something, say, a uh, leak code or, you know, grinding out, practicing all these algorithms. I think it's, I just, I hate the idea of interviews where you have to do these types of questions, but the reality is a lot of times they still exist. So taking a course that will really help walk you through the meaning behind some of these and kind of shift your thinking. You could be the best developer, but not great at these types of questions or algorithms, in my opinion. So if you are able to learn how to properly solve these, it's kind of like a puzzle. Once you solve one, you get in that rhythm and it's easier to continue on with them. So definitely check that one out. All right, this one is one for more of you soft skill individuals out there looking to dive into the world of marketing or maybe you already are a marketer and just want more certifications to stand out. This is from the University of Pennsylvania. It really covers key marketing concepts that you will typically be asked in interviews. This course is available on Coursera and once again, it's free if you audit it. And there is, let me see here, there is a certification available for a fee as well. So this is really great. They recommend it for tech professionals moving into product or growth roles. So if that is you, this course is something you need to check out. Okay, we are wrapping up with a big one, a very popular one right now, which is a course by Harvard University. And this specifically is Harvard's Data Science R Basics. That's pretty cool. As we know, data science is still a very in-demand, really popular role right now that I see so many people wanting to pursue that role, or even if you're in the industry, wanting to shift more in that way. Learning from Harvard University, I mean, that's pretty cool to start with, pretty incredible to have on your resume, and it's data science. I mean, I think it's a pretty big win-win. So this course will cover, start from the fundamentals of data science, and in particular R, and it's on edX, but the really cool thing is, similar to Coursera, edX has a program where if you audit it, you can take it for free. Now, the catch here 
there is if you do want the certification at the very end, you have to pay for it. But you can still take the course, audit it for free, and put it on your resume without the certification. I think that's totally fine. As long as you're clear it's not certified in that case, but you took the course. Ending off with Harvard, I mean, I don't think you can get any better than that, especially if you are interested in the world of data science. It's pretty cool. All right, we made it. I need it. One sec here, let me grab something. Coffee. I need to finish my coffee now. We made it, if you made it to the end, put a coffee emoji in the comments. Cheers me to having some coffee because we did it. These certifications, in my opinion, are really interesting. They're ones that aren't spoken about as much, but they are backed by the top universities, which will really help you stand out when you are job hunting. I'm wishing you all the best, regardless of where you are at in your journey. If you are watching this, looking to land your next role, or maybe you are looking to leave a company and start something on your own. There is so much opportunity, and especially nowadays online, a lot of these courses we went through, you can take for free. All right, cheers everyone. I'll see you all soon. Bye.